Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install the Seagate Barracuda 4 terabyte high drive. That is right. I just got this here today. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it if you got it for yourself. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is just take out the back of this actual case because what we're going to do is we're going to install into the hard drive cage that's back here. Now, most PCs have a hard drive cage, which is pretty obvious. And usually you want to always install your drive into the back side. So we'll just remove this like so. Test this to the side. You can see you can kind of get access to the drive. Now I already have one four terabyte hard drive and also you can probably tell already, pretty dirty, just ignore that. We're not gonna worry about that for the time being. So what I'm gonna do is dig through the cables and find the cables that we need. So the first cable we're gonna need is of course the SATA cable like you see here. You can get these usually with your motherboard that comes with it. And then the other cable you're gonna need is a power cable that is of course for the actual computer. So you can see here's the power cable you wanna use if you're using a hard drive. Now. Mine's on all one PCU, meaning that all the cables are already plugged into it. So you may have to plug into the cables depending on like what you have. And you just basically find this cable, plug it in your PCU or supply and go from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this SATA cable we got and just plug it on into the port on this side. Like that, SATA's all plugged in. So we got our SATA cable. The next thing we wanna do is take our power cable that we got from our PCU and plug it into the power spot, which is this one right here for the actual drive so that way it's all powered and if we get that in there push that in like so it should be all powered and good to go so yeah you can also tell too by looking at the back of the drive with the back of the drive would you be able to see that the cables are plugged in all fairly and good next to the pcb so usually there'd be a second hard drive cage here but i'm not entirely sure what happened to mine so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna slip this on in here for the time being temporarily now this is Definitely not recommended at all. If you have another hard drive cage, I would highly recommend you just put it on in there and just do that. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is take that SATA cable, run it through a grommet from the actual storage drive, and we're gonna plug it into the SATA port. Now, usually your SATA port will be on the right side, like you see right here, here mine. See, I don't have one plugged into this yet. Here, like, look, plug it in. You wanna point the metal thing to yourself. You can see, I plugged it in. And with that, our cable is all plugged in like my first four terabyte hard drive. So yeah, what we should do now is just power it on and then set up a petition for it. So now that we have our drive installed, what we need to do is set up a petition for it. Because if you see right now, if we look at this PC, you're gonna only see the four terabyte hard drive I normally have and the one terabyte M.2 I have. So yeah, that's not right. We need to set up the actual four terabyte drive we just got. So what we're gonna do is set up a petition for that. So what we're gonna do is go down to our little taskbar, type up disk manage and it's gonna be create and format a new drive so we just want to open this on up when you open this on up it is going to notice you're gonna have a new drive you're gonna see you have the first two drives you have already and the ones in blue meaning that they're already set petition for and you can see right here this is the one that's not actually have a petition set up because this is the new drive we installed so we're going to right click on this click new sample volume with a new sample volume we just want to click next and you just leave this exactly the same and then you can just label this whatever your drive we want to be so right now i have currently a C and D, not C and D, C and E drive. So I'm gonna make this my D drive, but you can really make it whatever letter you want to. D drives just for example. And then we're gonna just leave this exactly that. So, and then you can kind of label whatever you want to. For new volume, we're just gonna call it second for TB drive. That's all we're gonna do. I also spelled drive wrong, I spelled dive. And then we're just gonna say finish. And with that, it's gonna locate this drive. So now what will happen, if we go here, you can see we have a new four terabyte hard drive installed and Dropbox get out of here, please. And you can see we now have access to this and we can put anything we want onto it. If you guys did find this video helpful, then make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed because we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So that'd be very much appreciated. But until then, I'll see you guys for another tech video. Tech Grant out.